All right, welcome back to Invest and Play in the Garage. Today we're looking at our North Star Laredo SC. This is a 2013 model year camper. And I'm gonna go over some of the features and some of the different things that make this camper unique and special compared to a lot of other campers out on the market. One of the things that initially you'll notice is that it's a narrower camper than most. It's seven foot wide, so 84 inches total width instead of most are seven and a half, eight and a half feet wide. Some are even over a hundred inches in total width. So it makes a big difference if you're going down narrow roads with trees and branches and so forth that it, it, uh, it's, it's less overhang on the sides of your truck than what uh, the larger campers are. They also, with the North Star, they don't do any slide outs. So structurally, it's just a more uh, robust structure system to the camper. Uh, it's completely wood framed, which is nice in a couple regards. One is that it's better insulated. So a lot of the campers that are built with aluminum frame construction, you have issues with condensation on the inside and it's really transfers a lot of the heat and the cool, you know, inside outside of the unit. Uh, this helps eliminate that a lot as well as the insulation that they put into it. Um, so as far as the outside goes, the other thing you'll notice with the roof line here, is that it starts out and it kind of tapers up and then it, from here all the way over to here it basically has a slight taper and this is the total height the max height of the camper going back so it kind of gives you a little bit more of an aerodynamic nose to it it also is slightly shorter inside than some of the campers so you're at six in a six foot four inches high inside instead of six eight or seven foot so once again it just keeps your overall profile just a little bit shorter for a hard sidey camper so the uh, on the outside here we've got uh, a storage box here and this is uh, basically in place of having an eight foot truck bed so you'll notice that uh, this little cabinet here is uh, is right at where a short bed truck would end. If you had a long bed truck, the, the rear of the truck would come to about here. So you could use this camper on either one. You would just take out this little um, wall here so your truck bed would go. But if you have a short bed truck, you get this nice nifty storage compartment. You got the water heater. It's just a Atwood uh, propane water heater, six gallon. Uh, this is the vent for the furnace, an exterior light got a vent for the hood inside uh, the windows these windows are really special because they are made by Dometic um, it's not a typical glass window they're acrylic and it's dual pane and there's gas in between so it helps basically eliminate a lot of the heat transfer or the cold transfer also the framing for it isn't aluminum so you're not getting that condensation that you do with most other campers uh, this little compartment here is just the battery box access panel and then up here we have our propane storage it's just a standard 20 pound propane tank which is easy because you can swap them out almost anywhere or you can refill them this is the access port for the uh, power for shore power so you can pull out the uh, power cord for it and then down underneath here is the uh, access port for the uh, water fill so this is where you can gravity fill the uh, water tank that's also a unique feature with this unit because most campers may come with a 20 gallon rare ones come with 30 gallon water tanks this one comes with a 40 gallon fresh water tank so you can legitimately use it off grid with two people for a week or more without any trouble even with using the shower the other unique feature this has is the camper jacks. So these are uh, powered happy jack uh, camper jacks. So you have a wireless remote, which we'll show you in a bit, that controls all four of them. So you can raise the entire camper with a wireless remote or lower it down each leg individually or them all together simultaneously. The other thing that this one has is a swing out. So this is, they call it a dually swing out bracket, but basically what it does is it creates more of a, a gap between the side of the camper. So basically your truck isn't gonna be at quite as much risk of hitting the leg as you're loading and unloading the camper. 
The other side benefit to it is it actually swings in. So it has a release here and it swings in. So it actually, um, when you're driving down the road, it's almost flush with the outside of the camper. So it's the same as the front one there. So it's kind of an advantage in multiple ways with the swing out um, addition here that this one has. You'll notice up here we have another uh, bedroom window. So the same style window. And then on the other side, if we walk around, so we have another uh, same, same window in the other side of the bedroom. And then over here is the dinette window, which is a really big window. Super nice for just sitting and having a nice view out. Another exterior light, a vent here, and a matching storage compartment on this side. So quite a lot of storage on the outside of the unit. Uh, so next we'll go ahead and take a look on the inside. Before we go to the inside, this has a swing out handle, which is kind of handy uh, for getting in and out of the camper. Also, there's a additional bumper. This was an option for this unit that has storage for the gray water tank hose or whatever else you might want to store inside of there. This is a swing down step. So when the camper's on the truck, you have a nice step up so you can have uh, easier access in. And then back here is the uh, gray or black tank. So this is a, um, a cassette style toilet that has a five gallon tank on it. One of the things that makes it really cool is that when you use your toilet, it all goes into this tank here. Um, most of the black tanks are kind of difficult to dump because you have to find a dump station. With this type of unit, you basically just can dump it in any toilet or outhouse or anything. Um, it's five gallons of capacity and has little wheels on it. So you can wheel it around. It even has a little handle that extends here. And uh, so it's, it's kind of a, a cool little design for making the toilet use a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. Okay, so as we come into the inside, the first thing you'll see is a coat closet. And it has a little light that turns on and when the door opens. Inside here we have the additional cushion that's used for the dinette if that's converted into a bed. It also has all of the original manuals and we also store the wireless remote for the jacks in there. Underneath here, is another access door. This is additional storage and also where the water heater is located. One of the things that makes North Star unique as far as a camper is just how much storage they give you. So any extra nook and cranny, they're gonna put a cabinet and give you access to that. On the back here, we have the bathroom and it has a skylight that gives you some additional headroom if you're over six foot tall. You've got the shower wand and of course hot and cold water. And then here's your cassette toilet. This bottom piece lifts off and you have your shower drain. So you can leave that in there to make it a little easier to step up on the toilet. And then down underneath of it, we have yeah, another storage compartment and this also gives you access into the plumbing for underneath the uh, shower. Moving forward, we have the dinette space here. And uh, the first cabinet here we have is uh, right underneath the dinette. And it's quite a large cabinet, which is pretty nice. And then moving up to this other side, we have a microwave. We have an upper cabinet. All of these cabinet doors are positive engagement latches. So when it's pushed in, it stays closed. When you pull it, it opens up. So you can see when it's pushed down, it just it pulls down this little uh, engagement lever there. So you got lights throughout. All of these have been converted to LED. This is a, uh, a vent fan and it also has temperature control on it. And then on uh, down below here, we have the sink, hot, cold water, 
you've got the uh, window here, and then we've got a Dometic glass top propane stove, which these are sweet because when you're not using them, you basically have your whole countertop space available. And uh, then you got two burners when you're cooking, which is pretty nice. Um, down here is the propane furnace and the thermostat is just located over here on the wall. And then we've got the drawers for your kitchen utensils and whatnot, three different drawers. And then another storage compartment underneath. And that's a great spot for dishes and cookware and whatnot. Uh, down here is an outlet. And then we also have the water heater uh, switch to turn it on and also the water pump switch. There's also a 12 volt uh, socket outlet down here as well. Now, looking over to the dinette side, and the dinette has this table that uh, swivels. So depending on how you want to use it, uh, it also converts down into a bed. So this whole area is a bed and this drops down underneath. Uh, up top here, we have three different cabinets for storage and uh, quite a lot of space, probably more than is necessary. Uh, these windows are the Dometic windows. So you've got the, uh, the screens that come up and then the, uh, or the shades that come up and the screens that come down and they latch into each other. So you can, uh, depending on how you want to use it, um, you can have some privacy or you can have some bug protection while the window's open. Uh, they also come with some of these little screen or uh, curtains here and uh, it's a really nice functional space here so you could easily have probably uh, you could probably have three uh, people here maybe four if somebody sat over in that corner here and uh, one of the other unique features that North Star has is these little access panels so on each side is a little hatch and these little hatch give you access into your truck bed. So in front of your front wheel well is some wasted space that, uh, you know, otherwise you just couldn't get to. These little doors give you access in there, which is really nice. Down here is another little storage access panel. So this gives you access into some of the plumbing. The water tank is down here. Uh, these units don't have the... Uh, the water level sensors. So you actually would just open this hatch and just look in there to see how much water is actually in the tank, uh, which I guess is easy enough to do. Uh, down here is the power uh, control box. So this has your uh, breaker panels and as well as your fuses. And this also does the charging for the battery when you're plugged in shore power. Uh, down under here is yet more storage and access into some of the other systems. Got a little storage drawer here. And then the fridge. So this is a Dometic three-way fridge. It runs off of AC, DC, and propane. And it has a little control uh, panel up there so you can switch the modes and set the temperature for it. Uh, it's a nice little unit. Up top here is an air conditioner. Now this air conditioner is only gonna be able to run when you're on shore power or when you are plugged in uh, to a generator or something along those lines that will uh, give it enough AC power to uh, fire it up. So that's, that's basically this whole living space here. And then we can come up onto the, the bed area up here. So one of the first things you see here is it's got a little shade that you can close um, for privacy. There's a a little closet they could use for storing clothes. I think it would be handy to put some shelving in there and use that more efficiently for clothes storage. On either side of the bed, there is what they call a hamper. So basically this whole length from the front to the back is, uh, is storage. And you've got your little windows here. Uh, this here is an upgrade in the front. It's a skylight. Um, and also roof exit hatch so you can get up onto the roof through here and it also it's kind of nice because at night you can 
stargaze, you know, straight from the bed. Um, you can also use it to add a little ventilation, um, you know, while you're sleeping if it's hot out or whatnot. Um, it also adds a little bit of height. So if you're tall like me, you can actually sit up in bed with this little hatch, which is kind of fun. On the other side, we have a matching hamper area here. Oh, the little window and uh, they all kind of open the same and they have little catches to uh, keep them open in various different positions. And then up here is a storage drawer and then there's a TV. And there's also various different outlets that are kind of spread throughout. So there's a 12 volt socket up here, another 12 volt socket up here. So it kind of have some different charge options while you're inside the unit. So that's the inside tour of the Laredo SC camper. All right, so before we load it up onto the truck to show you how the jacks work and how the loading process goes, I wanted to point out to you the sticker on the back, which just shows you the weight of this unit. So when you are fully loaded with 40 gallons of water, 20 gallons of propane, and you've got the fridge and whatnot, the weight on it is 2,300 pounds. Well, 2,310 pounds to be exact. And that's what they would consider the wet weight for this unit. So it's really an ideal camper for a three quarter ton truck to a one ton truck. It's a little heavy for most half ton trucks, um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the remote. So this is the remote for uh, wirelessly controlling the camper jacks push these two buttons to unlock it and then you can go ahead and push the button and all four jacks will go up simultaneously now uh, if you want each individual one to go separately you can use the different buttons for each corner leg so we're gonna go ahead and lift it all the way up basically to its maximum height here and then back the truck up into it and load it on to the truck All right, so we should be tall enough now to back the truck up to the camper. And one thing I forgot to mention that I think is worth noting is that some campers are not capable of actually being offloaded off your truck and then used functionally on the jack stands. This camper is actually strong enough structurally to live in it and use it off of the truck. So you can basically just have it on the camper jack legs for support. Of course, you'd want to have it all the way lowered down just for additional stability, but it is a really nice feature if you're using it someplace and you want to drop it and use your truck for anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and start loading the truck up. We're going to back it up and uh, get it positioned. All right, come on back. All right, strain it. Driver a little bit more. Keep coming back. driver a little bit okay hold there go forward passenger right there a little bit more actually all right that's good all right straighten her out and come back go a little bit driver she come back more driver All right, that's looking pretty good. Keep coming back. Poor driver. All 
Alright, I think we are there. Alright, dropping it down. Alright, so now we're lifting the legs of the camper up. Now, in this case, we're only lifting it partway because we're just going to move it into the garage. Normally, you'd lift the legs all the way up until they're all the way pretty much even with the bottom of that. Now, one thing to note is when the camper is up, this is your heights for your step-in heights. So, it's still a reasonable first step up with using the, uh, the assist handle here. All right, so I think we're up off the ground enough with the jacks to move it into the garage. I wanted to just show you this swing out bracket, how it pivots in. So basically there's just a, a push up release here and it swings in. So now you can see with it swung in, it's just barely sticking out past the side of the camper. It also tucks that leg in really close to the truck. So versus it hanging out. So that swing out bracket is really a handy feature to have. Now typically we would be using the tie downs to secure it to the truck so we use the uh, torque lift fast gun tie downs and basically attaches down here and then there's a small extension that goes into this receiver here and there's one at each of the four corners and it just snugs it down so that keeps it from flying off the truck when you're going down the road and keeps it nice and uh, secure. So that is the full camper tour. All right, so that concludes the tour of the North Star truck camper. Thanks for your time and watching it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below and we'll get back to you on anything that you might uh, be wondering about. Uh, we will be sharing in future videos some of the different things that we're doing uh, as far as our travel vehicles and what we're doing specifically with this camper and the truck and the RV and we've got lots of stuff happening for sure uh, and we've got some adventures planned for the summer so we'll be sharing some of that too. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe if any of this is interesting to you and we'll be sharing more upcoming in the future. Thanks so much for watching.